Welcome back to the rants portion of the show. Uh, I hope it all works out correctly so I can put a bunch of links. Ange and I checked out Metallica yesterday. I, I listened to two of their tracks. And out of respect, I <laughs> I got to bury it somewhere. And there's a damn good reason. Uh, maybe this Avenged Sevenfold song will set the stage for what I want to talk about. get to talk about it it sets the stage perfectly uh, I don't want to turn into a drunk but I, I gotta get all yeah no it was Lars I don't like Lars's band anymore he is a poor poor drummer I I can't imagine what one of my ex favorite bands would sound like if they had some drumming like this in there just once <laughs> I didn't, I didn't take a peek or if I saw it last year, maybe it ended up on, maybe, I don't think I've seen this before, but there are a few songs that ended up on rumble at the beginning of it all when I was learning the gig. But you know, I would have to say if, if, if interpreting this video is complicated, then I I'm guessing my elitist as devil analogies of right it doesn't matter from the dawn of time there have been one group who wants to wield power over the other we just happen to live in a a moment in a timeline where the oppressed have a louder voice than the oppressor because technically they're working on something together wink wink nudge nudge thus the oppressed and the oppressor are actually the tyrannical top. And the unsuspecting normies are those fodder being thrown to the lions. Hardly understand So lost in ego Didn't notice 
This is a good example at this moment. Prior to a power structure taking place where uh, land disputes and uh, petty arguments got turned by, uh, you know, burning people at the stake, uh, the group doing the burning was chased off from oppression on the other side, right? On the other side of the ocean. So they were the oppressed. Then they become the new oppressor. Maybe there is something to power corrupts. I just, I'm just saying, maybe. Maybe anyone with intentions on ruling others, that's like the test for psychopathy right there. It appears that you can't go into it with good intentions. Now, from this puppet show, at least, that's what I'm getting. Like the graphic nature of this part of the puppet show. But now, was that an elitist that allowed uh, thousands to, to go without food so they could maintain a lavish lifestyle? Is that why the streets ran red those days? Is it is it as easy to break down as a puppet show? Or is the history of rebellion succession, conquest, much more complicated and nuanced than some puppets can share with us. Now, I'm guessing 100% yes. But I'm just saying that this moment, to me, yep, seems horrible. I want to know what the person did, you know, getting theirs. Because back here, I, I understood that the, the witch was really the daughter of a landowner, but didn't have, like, God, maybe their contract's good enough. Or, right? Because they, they're, right, a lot of bad bread hallucinations and double dealing. Or she might have been healthful, giving a lot, birthing a lot of healthy babies. And the medical industry came in and snuffed out her entire coven of friends who uh, really were creating natural cures and um, birthing babies. And then, blah! But then remember, that same group didn't think it was appropriate for them to wash their hands before they took care of you. And laughed at the introduction of a disease uh, theory, or a germ theory. Huh! Well, I mean, that's just a little nuance right there, isn't it? But I'll tell you this. All of this is way better than what I found in that Metallica crap. Safe, sterile, arr, rebellion for nobodies who don't want to stand up for anything. I'll say this. This is some thought-provoking shit with hella good drumming in the background. <laughs> I'm going to finish up with if that motherfucker said, let him eat cake. They got coming what was coming to him. Yeah, they love that narrative. But once again, it's a conquest narrative. And then, and then I love the fact that, um, <clears throat> the, a lot of these stories, oh God, conquest is dirty and horrible and blood soaked.
I'm not taking a side in conquest, but I'm certainly willing to accept that it's taken place since the Ice Ages and the club and stone spear went back and forth against each other. <laughs> And then, then I got to admit that I'm grateful. I mean, I don't even think I can find it in my comments, but I don't, I don't have any huge haters that are like, yeah, down with the people we hate. So I guess maybe I've been blessed enough to just not hang around with douchebags most of my life. We're back to that now. Uh, just as heavy as that whole uh, uh, Miss Fabian production I went through, where it just you know I mean it's now you got puppets doing it, but it's still the the visceral nature of the ideas being portrayed uh, is nothing but destruction. So I, I, my main takeaway is this: this club caters to the wrong clientele. If that's the show you got to put on to keep that crowd happy, F that crowd. Tell them they don't need tickets to anything no more. As long as we, the people on the planet, are okay with turning a blind eye to those who would like to see the consequences of weapons created. Because I think that's a part of the story a lot of people don't have the balls to talk about. You know that from every inch of the planet, humans have desired to see what happens when they do this, A, B, or C, to another human. The problem is, not all of us think that way. Some of us don't pull the wings off flies or exterminate life indiscriminately. Like I said, I admit that I could name the cow, raise the cow, then eat the cow damn straight. But I tried to give the cow a good life and it was a uh, uh, kind of a, a give and take 
arrangement. Not, I took joyful glee from the moment I would put the cow down. Until we put our brothers and sisters into check who are steeped in psychopathy and love to see the outcome of negative experiences, we will never stop having negative experiences. Now, I'm a dummy. But I gotta bet everything on this earth that that's true. Everything I've ever had and been, I gotta put it on the line and say, I'm pretty sure that's true. If we wanted happiness every day, we'd get it. But the insane among us also love power, wealth, influence. Did he just say this was a simulation? Oh, he did say this is just a simulation. Now, is this tinfoil hat crazy? Or did did they... Was, what the hell did I see? I saw some nuts stuff saying that something was secretly announced. Uh, that it's a holographic projection. Astral projection is 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 theoretically or literally I was some crazy but then I saw the declassified UFO spheres too so uh, I no longer with the introduction of AI I don't I don't know anything no more I I found people are actually talking to that shit like it's a thing shame on y'all shame on that any but any early adapters to AI you must want to be enslaved by the robots. You have to be shitting me. Without any sort of laws in place for them to have, you're talking to flawed psychopathic programs. I didn't hear that line, but uh, tell me a lie in a beautiful way. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, that puppet has got a kill list and a half. Wait, 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 wait. Does this end with part of my, my rants being accurate? Is this a win for the home team? That the psychopaths in power are always pulling the strings? Damn! Ha! Ha! It's almost like I understood what the hell was going on.
Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I, Avenge Sevenfold, the stage. That's fire. And uh, I personally believe to take it one step farther with the implication at the end there. Uh, the stage is set for a whole <clears throat> conflict between those who have served blood sacrifice, chaos, and um, evil against those who wished to uh, coincide with natural law, the planet, and uh, the cycle of life and death and rebirth, <clears throat> if you will. To live in conjunction with it all, not to wield it as a weapon against others. And I think the stage is set, and I think the one team is effing proud of all how far they've got, and it's everywhere you look. The next, uh, the next steps will be uh, interesting because as, as uh, this here puppet show just went to show you within this great song, a video, a whole deal that uh, it is a cycle continuing from the dawn of time. See, someone always wants what you have. They covet your position next to the river your cave at the top of the hill or your ability to hunt better than them. Yeah, I understand you're a crybaby. Come on, come on. Say hi to everybody. Ah, hi. Okay, you better? What do you got there? Oh, you got a nail. We got to get them trimmed, don't we? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry. Dog on the end. 22 minutes, I think I uh, have uh, had enough time to offend. Up here are some links. The first one will be Avenge Sevenfold covering the Misfits. Hybrid moment with Ange and I. Uh, yeah. I think that, yeah. And then within that uh, will be uh, Ange and I doing Metallica Gone Too Far. I mean, it's, I mean, it's right here. Hi, welcome back. Metallica gone too far. Uh, the video, on the other hand, I was uh, it really, really exists, but I, I can't, I can't make it like that. Because then, if you go within that one, there'll be one more to the first new Metallica song I'd listened to in years, and it just didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, some Harry Mack. Now, it's, you know, I don't know what order we're putting this all up in because I really wanted to get to, uh, well, we've got some up church from yesterday. A lot of extra stuff got done yesterday, but it didn't go up because that uh, Casey Chambers was very emotional for Ange. And me. Oh, hell yeah. That's uh, some good stuff. It's always fun to find things that make you feel or think. Horrible when you find stuff that makes you asleep and complacent. Take care.